The slate test is a great qualitative test to show us if our soil is functioning or not. And how this works is what you do is any landowner or farmer or even a gardener, they can do the simple test. And all it consists of is getting two glass jars or two cylinders like I have. And what you do is you collect your soil, one from the area you do a lot of tillage and the area you don't do a lot of tillage. This particular soil came from uh, Ray Steyer's farm and he has been doing no-till for 40 years. The only th piece of equipment he runs there is a sprayer or a no-till drill. This one, it comes from uh, the neighbors, same soil type, by the way, and uh, he grows vegetables continuously, year after year after year. That's the major difference between the soils. As you, as you can notice, the color, it's quite different. This one's darker, this one's lighter. So the way this test works is what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna place both these aggregates inside the water. In each aggregate, there's billions and billions of pore spaces. As I place them in to the water, the water's gonna rush in to fill those pore spaces. And we, what we want to see is, will this um, aggregate hold against those forces and not fall apart? Okay. The contrast here is, notice that the jar is clear here. This one is not clear. Notice how the aggregate completely fell apart. What this means is the soil pores are, no, are collapsed on, these, on this particular aggregate. This ones are still intact. What's so important about that is the more pore spaces you have in the soil system, the better the infiltration. So this one's gonna always infiltrate water better. When you have a better infiltrating soil system, what that means, water gets into the soil, which helps nutrient cycling, which helps the uh, plants to grow better. This soil will be more resilient against drought. This soil system, because the soil pores collapsed, most of the water ran off, this soil system will be more susceptible to drought. This system will not cycle nutrients efficiently. This one will cycle nutrients more efficiently because it's a healthier system. This system will have more problems with weeds because when you're tilling, you're bringing weeds back to the soil surface. This one will have less problems with weeds because this, the weeds stay in place. And we also know that in good, healthy soil systems, fungus can also just eat and destroy weed seeds. So this system is a, a healthier system. We did this lake test 30 minutes ago. And you can, as you can see, the colors differentiation between the two glass cylinders. One is clear and one still clouded with sus suspended clay particles. So the, th the thing here is you're seeing is the, uh, the, the, f the finely suspended clay particles are still floating in the, in, the, in the water. This one is still clear and notice the aggregate still intact for the most part. Some of it fell to the bottom but still a majority of it's still intact and the reason for that is that a lot of these biological cementing glues are hydrophobic they can repel water but yet they still hold the particles together this one here had very very little no cementing agents no biological glues holding it so all of it fell apart and landed up in the bottom of the glass cylinder the thing is a couple of years ago fertilizer was nearly a thousand dollars a ton the thing that's so important about this type of system is that this system is going to utilize your fertilizer more efficiently. Instead of running off, the, soil, the fertilizer will go in, into the water solute and mix very nicely and then the microbes will be able to utilize this more effectively and more efficiently and pass it into the plant. This system here is that because the soil pores collapsed, most of it's going to run off. So you're taking herbicides, fertilizer, and also your organic matter will run off and, and on top of the surface. These type of systems, if they're managed well, they will have residue on the top surface and they'll protect it so you don't have the sealing effect. So when it does rain, 
the fertilizer and all that intact will also infiltrate into the soil instead of run off. I use this test, it's called the miniature rain simulator, to build upon the point of the slake test. The slake test and the rain simulator test are very related. When you have no pore space, you have no infiltration. So this whole demo is to show what happens when you have pore infiltration. So I collected the soil from a, a conventional till system, agro system, and a no-till agro system. The difference between these two systems, this one has not been tilled in 40 years. This one's continually, continuously tilled every, every year to grow vegetables. Same soil types, but what we want to do is we want to show which one infiltrates first, which one goes through that profile. Notice that the soils are, uh, the jars are plastic jars, yarn jars are filled up a quarter of the way up on both, on both jars. And so what we're going to do with the help of Tibor, my assistant, we're going to, um, what we're going to do is we're going to pour this colored water. One is blue and one is blue red. That's the only, it's just plain colored water. And the only reason I do that is to show the, the water column building up as we pour in. And what we have here is that we have two little plastic containers that is, we're going to simulate the rain. Notice in the no-till system how the water infiltrated through the whole profile. Notice on this side the water is still standing up in a column. This shows that in most of our watersheds we have an infiltration problem, not a runoff problem. And what I mean by that is if we focus on the infiltration problem, on soil health, soil function, then we will use, then we will focus on what we have to do to make that soil healthy. Notice on this one, the water will go through the soil, and from the soil it'll go right into the into the lakes, into, into the rivers, into the lakes. This one here, the water will sh shut off the land, take all the fertilizer and all the pestic pesticides with it. So this one, notice how it has not infiltrated through. Look at this one. And this, now what causes this is when you create, till, when you do tillage, the zygomycotis bacteria will start breaking down all the glues that hold the particles together, the soil structure together, and the pore spaces collapse. You remember on the slake test, how the soil fell apart? Well, there's no glues to hold the particles together. And this is exactly what happens. There's no pore space. This one has pore space lots and lots of pore space. The soil is held intact by the glues created by all the organisms, soil organisms. This one does not. Uh, the water right here ran off into our rivers and into our lakes. This is to show us what happens when our soils do not function properly. Healthy soil systems not only capture and hold water better, but they also allow it to pass through. In unhealthy soil systems, that's not the case. The whole picture here really is the takeaway is that we want water in the soil system. And that's why when it rains one inch, we're going to get all that one inch. Mm -hmm. You're not losing anything. That's the beauty about this. It shows that you're capturing all the water so that when droughts do come, that you can capture every precious inch of water. That's the whole thing.